Can you get out? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be doing a Thanksgiving get ready with me. Today is actually not Thanksgiving and I will not be spending Thanksgiving at my house, but Thanksgiving is two days away, like that's insane. So this is kind of just to give you guys some inspiration for like hair and makeup and outfits. So I will be doing all of that today and I'm really excited because it's the most wonderful time of the year. First, we're gonna start off by showering, of course. I need to do something with this crazy mess of hair on top of my head. I'm gonna do that and I'll be right back. All right, I am back, I am showered and cleaned and coming at you from a slightly different angle. So I washed my hair, it is almost completely dry but it is so, so silky smooth. I have partnered once more with Orgullosa to bring you guys this product. So this is the Pantene Pro V 3 Minute Miracle. It's a smooth and sleek deep conditioner but it only takes three minutes which usually my deep conditioners take like 15 minutes to work. But this one only takes three. This one is close, it is like my backup one. I have another one in the shower. But basically this is supposed to repair damaged hair so what you do is you apply it at the tips and then work towards the roots and then just leave it on for three minutes. So while those three minutes are going you can just take a shower. So I I like to wash my hair before I do anything else in the shower so that while I have my conditioner in I can do everything else like you know bathe and shave my legs and do whatever else but I'm a mom so I literally don't have time to wait like 15 minutes so I am so happy that this exists it really does leave your hair so smooth I didn't put anything else in my hair so you guys could see that it is like really really soft I wish you could feel my hair through the screen but I'm now gonna straighten my hair and do my makeup so let's get ready all right so I did my foundation concealer and eyebrows off camera because I feel like that part is just not that interesting but I used my Fenty foundation in the shade 250 my brow definer in dark brown and this NARS concealer and this is in the shade custard and I'm literally running out of this because it is so tiny and I love it so much so now on to the rest of my makeup do you guys do your makeup before you do your hair or do you do your hair first I most of the time do my makeup first and then I do my hair so I'm gonna tie up my hair so that it won't get in the way okay so when I think of the holidays specifically Thanksgiving I think of like orangey shades because it's still fall I was gonna use my Jaclyn Hill palette it doesn't have a lot of orangey shades though, so I'm gonna use my Morphe 350 palette. It's so dirty, but this one has all the orange shades. If the door behind me keeps like opening and closing, that's because Mateo is walking around. Okay, I'm using my Carly Bible palette as a mirror because I don't have a mirror on my vanity slash desk area. I'm starting off with this shade right here. I'm using that as a transition shade. I'm not a makeup guru. It's kind of hard to work around these lash extensions now that I have them, but it makes my makeup like so much faster and easier to do because I don't have to do lashes. I feel like it saved me so much time. I wanted to get them done because the holidays are coming up. They are just amazing. If you have the money to get lash extensions, you should definitely go for it. So I'm trying to make this tutorial as simple as I can. I don't want to use a lot of eyeshadows. So the next eyeshadow that I'm using is this one and I'm just gonna put that on the outer corners of my eye and just blend blend blend. It's already looking orangey like I don't need that many more shades. And then I'm just gonna clean that up a little bit with my beauty blender. I don't put on powder under my eyes, please don't kill me, but I don't put on powder under my eyes so that I can do this after I do my eyeshadow. And then it just looks so much cleaner. And now for the last shade on my eyelid, I'm gonna add a glittery shade. And I'm gonna go with this shade down here. Okay, that shade is so pigmented. And then with the same like blending brush that I used before, I just blend it a little with no extra product on it. And I always do this after applying my lid shade. And then under my eye, I'm just using the same two shades that I used on my crease. And to highlight my inner corner right here and my brow bone, I'm using this shade right here. I'm kind of mad these don't have names because I'm just like, oh, this shade and this shade. <laughs> Since having my lashes, I haven't put on a wing liner because I feel like it's really hard to do that. So I'm not going to add 
any liner, but I am putting on bottom lash mascara. I'm using the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. I think this is supposed to be the dupe for Better Than Sex Mascara, and it works really good. To bronze my face, I'm using the Benefit Hula Bronzer. I don't use like contour sticks or anything. I have the Fenty contour sticks. Those are the only contour sticks that I have, but I'm not a big fan of contouring just because I don't really know how to do it. So my makeup always is pretty simple and pretty fast. I'm just bronzing my face a little bit. I put it all over like my cheeks, my forehead, and I put it under my jaw as well. Then for blush, I'm using the Milani Luminoso. Um, I don't hear people talking about this blush anymore, but it is my favorite blush of all time. I feel like it's just so pretty. It goes with everything. And then for my favorite part, highlights. I'm using the Laura Geller um, highlight in the shade Gilded Honey. This is amazing. It is so pretty. I just want to eat it. Is that weird? I love nose highlights. I feel like that's why you guys think that my makeup is always looking good. It's because when I do my nose highlight and I turn on my ring light, it's like a whole nother level of highlight. And I'm adding some to my cupid bow as well. Yes, girl. Last for my makeup look, lips. I'm using the Ofra liquid lipstick um, in Miami Fever. It's just so orangey and it goes perfect with the eyes. I probably shouldn't talk while putting on lip products. And that is all for this makeup look. So if you don't have um, lash extensions, you can obviously put on fake lashes or just mascara. Now to straighten this hair. I'm gonna do that off camera because everybody knows how to straighten their hair. And if you don't know how to straighten your hair, there's like thousands of videos out there. I feel like that's pretty boring, but I will be right back. All right, hair is done. I was actually able to brush through it so easily. If you hear a noise in the background, that's a shower my family got home from Universal. But yes, it is so smooth. I wish you guys could feel it through the screen. Like, it is so smooth and not frizzy at all. I suffer from frizzy hair, let me tell you. But now it is outfit time. guys that is it for today's video my baby just woke up out there so that's my cue thank you guys so much for watching please don't forget to check out all links down below and make sure to find this product at your local drugstore i will see you guys in my next video bye guys